Now, sometimes people prefer to define a poset just in terms of the less than relation, knowing that the less equal is always there because you always have the reflexive property. And here's an example where the definition goes much easier when you use less than rather than less equal. Any family of closed intervals of the real line can be partially ordered by making up this definition, AB is less than CD, if and only if B is less than C in R. Now, all you computer science types should recognize that that definition is an example of operator overloading. I've used the less than symbol in the same sentence in, with two different meanings. And I'm depending on you as my compilers in residence to sort out the meaning based on the data types. On the left part of that sentence where it says brackets AB is less than CD, See that less than right there? That means one thing. Now scan over a little bit where it says B less than C in R. That less than means something completely different. In many modern programming languages, you do that all the time. You have an operator and you overload it. It means one thing when you're talking about floats. It means another thing when you're talking about ints. It means something else. You can even overload it and have it apply to structures. So here, we're using it in two different ways. And hopefully, playing the role of a compiler, you're reading this and sorting it out in your mind and saying, on the left, I'm using it to define a partial order. So when I take this interval, is it less than this interval? Yes, because this one ends before that one begins. That's what the partial order means. Interval, interval. Is this one less than that one? No. Because it doesn't end before this one begins. Now I have a nice partial order. And, and th anybody use these? Well, yes. Here's a program with a running time. And the output of this is necessary for the input of this. So I don't begin this one until I finish that one. So run, transfer, run. It happens all the time. 